has only won two gold medals, two medals in total in the lightweight division. Kindelon's gold in 2000 and gold in 1980. Azerbaijan, no medals in the lightweight category. This is their third Olympic Games under their own flag. Yusinov is 28 years of age. Knocked off Vicente Escobedo of the United States in his last bout, 36-18. Kendallon is going to walk in the park for him. In his first bout, he led 9-0 after the first round against Sadiq of Nigeria. Against Ashgar Ali Shah of Pakistan, an easy 24-9 win. Kindalan is southpaw. Gets it done two ways. That way, counter punching, moving away, letting you do some of his work for him. Come in and miss here, counter you, beat you to the punch. Or he can do it another way. I'm sure you'll see it soon. As you pull back here, step with you and give you a little present. Left hand or right hand. He can use his legs when he needs to, but doesn't overdo it. Very calm, very conserved. Very reserved. Waste very little. Kindle on with a 5-3 lead. Late stages of the first. In a sense, he's just warming up. And setting things up, that jab to the body you just saw a minute ago from the South Park in the line, it was to set up a left hand a couple of seconds later upstairs. Saying Houston off corner to quiet down a little bit. The muscle above the shoulders of Kindleline. Competition in the of Olympics that he moved up to light welterweight just to get away from Kindleline. Kindelon, 33 years of age. He was sort of lower on the depth chart, and that's why he was not involved in the Olympic Games in 1996. There's Julio Gonzalez ahead of him. Damian Austin, Pablo Rojas, but finally when he got his chance to shine in Sydney, he brought home the gold. Even when Kindelon opens up, he does it at the right time doesn't give you any opportunities make sure he reads your feet if you're stepping out that's when he'll step in he figures you're not ready to make him pay a price and he brings his legs with him his upper body does not get ahead of the lower part yep. saw punches fly but no points for out of boxing Teddy uh, Yusinov of Azerbaijan Right there, though. 5-5 five, five score. Kindelon, as I said, takes what you give him. Right now, Yusinov trying not to give him anything. Gives him a right hook counter there. Again, Yusinov understands in this tournament, sometimes it's not what you do well, it's what you don't do wrong. Right now, trying to be reserved, trying to be controlled, Try not to walk into anything from Kindelon. Try not to help Kindelon right now. That's why you see Yusinov laying back. Legs got tied up. That's why Kindelon went down. He was not hit with a punch. Bob, that happens a lot with an orthodox fighter as Yusinov is with the southpaw. Their feet get tangled. Just look. The right foot, the lead foot of the southpaw gets in the way of the lead left foot of the orthodox fighter. They're right next to each other. Kindelon taking his time, and Kindelon with the lead, 7-6, to six. comes from an athletic family, his cousin. Right now, though, Kindelon's lead is just one as we start the third round. Kindelon's so calm, if you notice him coming out of the corner, most fighters get the mouthpiece taken out by the handler, put back in by the handler. Kindelon holds on to the mouthpiece in his glove, puts it back himself. Self-contained in every way. Self-reliant in every way. Give Yusinov great credit so far. He's not great in one area, but he stays with his style. That's what he's doing right now, Bob. 
doesn't overcommit, looks to counter, move a bit, punch a bit, looks for the right opportunities, but he's staying within himself, staying in his style. He's going to be stubborn here. He's going to say, you know what? I might get beat, but I'm not going to beat going into Kinderland's style or Kinderland's game. It's funny, though, because it's amazing how Kindelon is able to control the flow. Remember when Yusinov fought Vicente Escobedo of the United States in his last battle. It was Escobedo trying to charge in and chase Yusinov all over the ring. Now the role is reversed for Yusinov. Yes. But again, Yusinov trying his best to not come outside himself. Not go into Kindelon's world. He's trying to maintain his style. I don't know that he's going to be able to do that. He's staying with it as long as he can. But the greater ability of Kindelon is making it difficult. That's the separating place and element right now. And then what's going to happen is Kindelon, here in the late stages of the third round with the lead, and when Yusinov goes to his corner, his coach is well apprised of the scores as the round is progressing. We'll tell him he's down six, and now his whole temperament's going to have to change, and that'll play right into Kindelon's hands, and that's usually why Kindelon wins by big margins. You've been watching Picked up this a tournament. Picked the middleweight learned. division in Sydney, and Agassi Mamadov advanced to the medal round yesterday. You see a brace on the right knee of Yusinov. Probably a little support may have had an injury there. Shouldn't bother him too much because his style is not to use the ring. It's to come forward. Look at the hand speed of Kindelon. And the choices of Kindelon. Forcing Yusinov to come to him. So he can time him. Can use that hand speed at the right spot, at the right moment. Make it effective. I've seen a lot of guys with good hand speed, but they only hit air. Kindelon uses it at the right time. So he hits target. Hits people. Kindelon. Well, he flashes a little Pernell Whitaker at you too, Teddy. Uh, the former U.S. Olympian from 1984 and former great world champion. Got the hands down, leans in, dips back out, and then slides away. All successful people, tremendously achieving people, athletes in particular, they have that pride, that charisma, that little bit of wanting to show it to you wanting to glow a little bit grow a little bit to the panache yes Kindelon does it in a reserved sort of classy manner not over the top his hands are dropping now Kindelon he knows he's ahead you see fighters do that they're dropping now He's outside, and that means that he's going to use his quickness. He's going to allow his opponent to come to him. He's going to pick him up coming in and feel that he can do that with loose hands. And he's not going to come forward when you see those hands down. It means he's going to do that. Step back, allow you to come forward. If he was coming forward, the hands would come up. There's the bell. A little panache with the hairstyle does Mario Kindle.